There is a lot of confusion. We organized a, a police search and seizure operation two weeks ago for today. We were informed this morning, our safe schools, uh, the person in our safe schools department confirmed with the police this morning that the operation would go ahead at 11.30. When I arrived at 11.30, I couldn't see any police around. Um, after, the, after a while, we found a few police officers around. There were no police dogs, as we were promised there would be. Uh, the acting police uh, command, uh, station commander at uh, Gugoleta police station then said to me that they had not been informed of the operation and they were not prepared. Um, they then, he then did manage to get some people to come and do the operation for us. Um, they went into the classroom and were clearly completely unaware of the proper processes they are supposed to follow, but which they should be trained on. Um, they didn't separate girls and boys. They then found two, two children with knives. They took them to a police van and put them in the back of the van, which is against the protocol completely. They're supposed to go to the principal's office. It was quite clear. First of all, the police were unprepared. Second of all, the communication is non-existent in the department in this area. Third of all, they appear to find it quite a joke because I was also informed that uh, when they put the boys in the back of the van, they told the police, they, they told them not to worry about anything. There. We're just doing it for the media which is total and utter rubbish, and I'm incredibly angry about that, if that is true. I didn't hear it myself, but that's what I was told by someone who apparently did hear it. And um, I, I am very disillusioned. I can see why my safe schools directorate uh, complains continuously that when we really need the police to be here, they're not here. That's what they, would, that's what they tell me. Um, my the safe schools person, you can speak to her yourself, she confirmed to me that she spoke this morning to the person at Google Air's police station whom she had been dealing with, and that he confirmed it was going ahead. So that indicates the extent of the problem we face. The police can't even communicate with each other. Just quickly, guys, as well, we organized with the cluster. The, the, the WCD safe schools director did organize this event with the cluster. The cluster did not inform the station. It hasn't been a failure in a certain sense because we have managed to find uh, there were some knives found which uh, were on school premises, uh, but I think it's really a source of incredible concern to me that when we organize something like this and, and we, we've arranged it, that the police can't even get their act together to do a simple search and seizure operation. And if they can't do that, how safe can we feel? It's not right that these learners should have to sit inside these kind of prim uh, school buildings where people are brought, bringing knives into the premises. We conduct a specific organized operation. It wasn't even, uh, it wasn't even ad hoc. Ad admittedly, they say they weren't informed, but the reason why were they not informed? Because it was organized. And I will certainly be making inquiries as to, who, as to what happened. I'm very concerned and I'm extremely concerned about the lack of support we're getting from police in ensuring that our learners are safe. I know that the Western Cape we have a lot of under-resourcing of police. Uh, we are very, very under-resourced. But it's no excuse for those we, are, we do have not to be properly trained in basic procedures like this when we have such a huge gang problem and drug problem that is affecting our schools every single day. It's not right for our teachers and principals to have to fight off gangsters. The police should be doing that and they should be helping us doing it. And when we organize something like this and they can't even get it right then, what's happening the rest of the time? I would like to do many more of these operations because we really need to send out the message that having weapons and, uh, and drugs at schools is totally and utterly unacceptable. Schools should be places of safety where people can learn and improve their opportunities in life and get a good education. And it's not, it's not right for those who are not involved in these activities to have to feel intimidated and scared at school. So I would love to do more of these operations, but if, we are, if it's going to happen like this, then it's, it's going to be not nearly as effective as I, as I want them to be. I've been trying for a month to get a meeting with General Dula, the Provincial Commissioner. I will continue trying to get a meeting with him now even more urgently than before. And I'm going to take these issues up with him and see what we can do about it because this really is very concerning. We chose this school because there were, uh, was a request from the safety committee of the school um, where they had had uh, there are gang activities going on here and apparently there were some learners who were threatened quite a lot and one had a particularly serious threat against them and we were doing it as a preventative measure to try and ensure that nothing, nothing worse happened.